Fashion designer David Lale is facing rape allegations. Zach took it to his Instagram and posted about how David Lale sexually assaulted him and exploited him of his skills. Hi YouTube family, welcome to All Trending Mzanti. If you are new here, thank you for picking me and I do hope you stay. And if you are a returning subscriber, hi Mzandu Mkosi, thank you for showing me love again. Let's get straight to the video. But Sandy Bumkosi Zach went to his Instagram and posted the following about David Lale. This man with ulterior motives got closer to me at 21 years of age while working for at AFISA, which is how we met. Forged a friendship, I was charmed and inspired by him. A role model to me at the time, and to cut a long story short, he drugged and sexually abused me. He then exploited me of my skills during the pandemic. He would ask I write him pressers, sponsorship proposals, and other strategies or copy. Promised to pay me often in clothing but wouldn't actually and when i would remind him he would get defensive and gaslight me he later offered me a job as his pr and comms manager at my most vulnerable i think two weeks out of rehab unemployed he played around my desperation for papers tricked me down exactly 66 percent i calculated less than what both he and i knew i was worth at the time gaslight me and lied to me make me believe he had bigger plans for me in his brand, continued to use me, commented on my body and weight gains in the office during my most insecure days when I was literally gaining weight daily, a side effect from my depression medicine, and then he tried so hard to crush my self-esteem and confidence. I left his brand after three months of working for him and saw never to work in the fashion media industry again, a passion and a vacation of mine. It took me almost two years to realize that I did not deserve any of that, to fully understand that it was in fact sexual assault that I was taken advantage of and just how pure my intentions were. I was young and fragile. And since this realization, I've been crying myself to an unhealthy sleeping routine, have told none until my family this morning. Realizing this has been upsetting, confusing, sad and anxiety inducing. I've been in denial and constantly bearing this trauma. At some point, I was suicidal, blamed, and basically felt out of love with myself. Now I continue to heal and build a stronger self-image and confidence. Today, three years later, is the first time I share this with anyone and it's on here. Zach concluded the post by calling David Lale a rapist and a narcissist, stating that God will bless him, but first he needs to find a God. Yo, but Andy go see this one is too deep. Mzansi was not pleased about how celebrities were not taking these accusations seriously and this is what they had to say. Why are these celebrities quiet about the David Lale accusations, a tweet said. The alphabet community not saying anything about this David Lale saga is not shocking, but they are quick to step on someone's neck for having a different view on gender identity, another one added. This is the reason why rape victims of the well-known keep quiet and don't open a case. That consult with team of experts is so loud. While you are a nobody who will depend on legal aid lawyers, already you have lost the case because money talks. It's sickening, another one added. Yo is kaka sendaba in tumantu mani yendaba. But Andy Bomkosi, do leave your comments down below about what you think about David Lale being accused of sexual assault. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Catch you on my next one.